Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Java 8 comparators comparing method. So here I have listed the methods which are available in the comparator interface. So you can see compare, comparing has a two overloaded version. Uh, first method takes two parameter. First is the functional func functional interface. Uh, uh, as an argument and function is a functional uh, interface which takes as an argument and second is the comparator itself. Now second overloaded method you can see takes only one parameter and that that is nothing but the function and that is also a functional interface which takes an argument. Now uh, the comparing method is a new static method introduced in comparator interface in Java 8. Uh, it has a signature you can see over here uh, comparing method works by taking a function functional interface instance as an input and where uh, you can see t t is nothing but the essay uh, t is the type of input object and r r is the sort key which is returned or extracted from the input object with function uh, processes in it okay so let's try to understand the use of comparing method through an example. So here I have created a project with name Java 8 comparator compare methods demo and I have created a model class employee which is having two private fields. Uh, I have created a constructor uh, getter for these two fields and finally to a string. Uh, I have overridden so that we can print a state of object in nice format. Now here I have created a list and in this list I have added some uh, employee objects and I want to sort uh, this employee objects based on the uh, uh, name right and here I will show you a huge case of uh, comparing method. So here so as I say, as I said, comparing is a static method, right? So directly you can call by the interface name itself. So comparator, and if you call comparing, then you can see. So I'm gonna use first of all, I'm going to use uh, comparing first method, which takes only one argument, right? So here you can see if you go to the uh, JDK then they have given the definition right so how you can get the comparator object suppose if you have a person object then you can make use of the method re method reference this is called method reference uh, so comparing uh, you can see comparing uh, takes function as an argument it's a functional interface which is having one method is called apply which takes one input and process the input and finally returns our output R, right? So if you have a, any method which is which is which is anonymous to uh, this method apply method, then you can pass as a functional uh, fun function reference. So suppose if you have a person in if you have a person class and that you have a get last name and get last name uh, basically. Uh, returns uh, a string as an argument right so if these things you can pass as a method reference in comparing so similarly here what I am doing uh, we have an employee class right so employee we have a get get name so that I am going to pass as a method reference and this will return you the uh, comparator itself comparator objects so let's say c o n p now this is another way to get the comparator object now collection in earlier earlier demo i have shown you collections is a utility class which is having a sort method right you can say sort method so this is the sort method it accepts first argument as a list and second is the comparator itself so this list I'm going to pass it over here and list I'm going to uh, sorry this comparator object I'm going to pass it over here and this will sort based on the name 
this will perform based on this will perform the sorting based on the name so let's iterate this list before sorting and after sorting so we have a for each loop from java 8 onwards there we can pass a consumer object so system dot out double column is this is also a column method reference and again after sorting we can iterate the list again so let's separate these two output with some markers and if i run it then you can see so uh, before sorting we get the output in the order in which we have inserted employee object added employee object in the list in the same order that we are getting but after performing the sorting after after performing the sorting we get employee is sorted based on the name itself so this is also way to sort uh, collection of object now we have a uh, another so i'm going to comment this line of code again we have uh, another overloaded method uh, comparing uh, in comparator interface so which accepts two arguments all right so if you go to the jdk then they have written java doc beautifully so what they have written comparator dot comparing here you have just you are passing method reference calling a method reference right get last name in our case employee dot get uh, name and here if you want to uh, perform sorting ignoring the case differences then you can pass a string has a constant is called case insensitive order so in that way we are going to create a comparator object so let's see do the same over here so here i'm going to so first key extractor i'm going to use as like earlier and here i'm going to use uh, a string class a string dot and here is the case insensitive order right so this will give you again a comparator let's say comp itself and this comp will pass so at this time when you sort the employee then this will sort based on the case insensitive right this will ignore the case sensitivity so if i run it then this will work a similar fashion okay so if you have a database in capital or small this will ignore right but uh, when you sort if you perform the sorting based on this method this will consider the case sensitivity as well so this will if in david if a is a small and another david uh, with capital n that will consider as a two different right so that's the thing i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed learning and i'm very much sure now you know how to use comparing method which is available in the comparator interface in java 8 so thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to upload on the github and see you in next video tutorial